first time I picked up a pen, I would have to be in elementary school because I usually would draw all the time during church, just scribble like on the back with a crayon or something like that. That has to be the first time I ever picked up a pencil, but have it put it down. Uh, the hardest thing that I've ever had to face as an artist would be uh, exposure, because uh, out here in the middle of nowhere, out, out in the, the farms, uh, the sticks of Kentucky, it's really kind of hard to host an art show or display your work. My greatest hope uh, for me as an artist would be to uh, publish a comic book as well as star or direct an action film for Hollywood. I use some a lot of B actors, like Bruce Campbell or something, they're pretty good. I enjoy a realistic art. I, I don't really like uh, abstract too much, but I like to c capture the most detail in all my panels from my comic book work, just be as real as possible. And uh, I, like, I like playing video games, I like working on the computer. Uh, I like a lot of first-person uh, shooter games, they're kind of really interesting. And uh, make a lot of short films, I like watching those. Who I admire most as a visual artist uh, would be a comic book uh, illustrator by the name of Patrick Spaz. Uh, he, he illustrates the Sonic comics for Archie. And uh, I got a, a Sonic comic for a Christmas present in 1993 and uh, saw his work and I just wanted to be a comic book illustrator ever since then. And here I am. It was just the way he, he was very detailed with his, his characters. Uh, he had a really nice, he could ink and color really well and just the, the overall feel because of the previous, I guess, illustrators for the comic up until that point weren't, weren't as detailed or weren't as, uh, I guess, didn't have his style. And then when I saw his style, I was just like, wow, this is really interesting. What would I do if I ran into a woman that worked on the graphic novel and I had the hots for? Well, I'd probably show her a few pages of my comic book and see if she wanted to come over, come over for some art lessons. <laughs> Here's some of my artwork uh, used for my For Freedom uh, comic book. Uh, what I do here, I, I draw the individual panels, individual figures, and uh, compose them on a, a page in Photoshop. I don't do it the, the traditional way where you have a single sheet of paper and then draw on it. Uh, I just draw on the back of whatever I have at the moment, ink it, color it in Photoshop, and uh, this turns into what you see right here. This, this book uh, right here for freedom, this is my reference guide. This is the Bible to my universe. It has everything you need to know on every character. It has the settings, has their vehicles has the backstory and uh, I was really adamant about finishing this first and then getting started on my actual series which will be coming out soon. This is the depot uh, where the studio of my art gallery is. It's located in the basement. This is a restored depot from like uh, I think it's like the 1800s or something but it's really old and uh, the top floor is a whole museum. Uh, this is the Studio of the Mind Art Gallery. It features artwork from uh, the students at the high school, uh, Lincoln County High School, as well as former students that have already went on to college. Uh, here we have some uh, still life drawings, some skeleton uh, pencil drawings. We have some proportion. We have some paintings, some uh, charcoal. If I could do something that I've never before done on my, my comic, I would try to uh, uh, compile a radio play or uh, like a read-along uh, narrative that you could read and listen to while you're reading the comic book with a complete with sound effects and voiceovers and uh, background noises. I think that really enhanced the, the comic book experience. I like to use a quote that I hear a lot. I'm, I'm using talent on loan from God. <laughs>